the way you interpret this slide is this is increasing clay, so I'm down here sitting in a lot of our soils are at 2% clay, very, very sandy, right up here to, you know, very, very hard to manage clay soils. If we look at cation exchange capacity, a very standard measurement that people get done, a measure of the capacity of the soil to retain nutrients. Cation exchange capacity is generated by clay content or by organic matter. So in my sandy soils down here, I have a very large influence from organic matter, which is why this is so wide, a very large influence from organic matter on cation exchange capacity. But not all organic matter, specifically the humus and the inert. So the really old organic matter that's sitting in the soil is driving cation exchange capacity, not the new stuff that we're putting in. Energy for biological processes, important regardless of what clay content of the soil it is. And you can see here this particulate fraction is driving a lot of the energy where the inert stuff isn't, they're not breaking it down. So what we're starting to find is you can have two soils with exactly the same total carbon value, but they behave very differently in terms of biological functioning because they vary in their ratios between particulate, humus and inert organic matter. 